This image is an ancient grid in the Algerian desert, which can currently be viewed on Google Earth using these coordinates. In my previous videos about Australia, buried cities of North America, and others, I've hinted at the worldwide ancient grid, without explaining what it is. I showed the following grid in southwestern Australia, among other images. I first heard of this particular grid in 1992, reading a work by the Australian researcher, Stan Deo. Back then, I dismissed it, because no photographic evidence was provided, just hearsay by that author who claimed to have flown over it many times. We didn't have Google Earth, and I was too lazy to do any actual research in those days. It has taken me 30 years to revisit the phenomenon, and the grid is still there in southwestern Australia, just like that author said it was. In the previous video, I also looked at the grids in New Mexico. This video provides a good introduction to the grids. As I am not familiar with this author's other materials, this does not constitute an endorsement of the author, his channel, or his theories. But I agree with almost everything shown and said in the video. The first place featured in the video is a small town called Paramph, Nevada. This is a screenshot of the grid that it was built on top of. This screenshot from the video. Here's 2018 look versus a 1994 look of one area, also screenshot from the video. I am taking screenshots from this video because meanwhile, when I go to Google Earth 2024, some areas are already developed, and their ancient origin obscured. This is from California City. This is the ancient desert grids beyond California City, far out in the desert. Here's a close-up of the grid, far off from modern civilization. The fact that we find these grid lines in remote and barren locations is the giveaway that we're not looking at modern road building. Who would start road development in deserted wasteland? Or who would start developing roads in the 1990s and then finish them in 2024? There is a sequel to the video which is equally stunning. So, what are these grids? As the creator of those videos says, they look like circuitry. If they were circuits, was energy being provided to the people, or harvested from the people? Answering that, would tell us whether we're dealing with good guys or bad guys from a human perspective. It's hard to say what really happened. There's no documentation on who built them, or why. Nor did I come across any road construction company declaring that they are making use of an ancient grid. Before I continue the video, please give a like if you learned something. Also, don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell, so you won't miss any update. Finally, watch until the end, to avoid any misunderstanding. Thank you. There have been debunkers, claiming that the desert grids are digital image artifacts from camera errors, or faulty photography. Funny then, how road developers later use image artifacts to build streets on, or how one can go to these locations, and find the lines carved into the landscape. I've seen the straight lines and boxes in New Mexico with my own eyes. The fact is, none of the grids I have shown in this, and other videos, are image artifacts. They are all real, and can be visited and verified by anyone. All these fake fact-checkers, government shills no doubt, are hoping that people are too complacent to do any research of their own. But once enough people know and verify on their own, we will reach a critical mass of people who demand answers. And then answers will be forthcoming. There are many alternative explanations for the grids, such as irrigation, ancient roadways, some unknown form of communication, similar to crop circles, etc. There are a lot of people that will tell you what they are, but I find that jumping to conclusions narrows the mind, making one blind to the possibilities. Maybe, cities look like this painting, by Mexican designer, Fernando Romero. 
I get the sense that the deserts around the world were at one time fertile and turned into barren wastelands through some devastating war and or large-scale mining. A few weeks ago, I had the chance to visit a so-called meteor crater in Winslow, Arizona. NASA has built an entire museum and information center adjacent to the crater. They went through great lengths to make visitors believe in a meteor, using booths, tours, games and multimedia to illustrate their point. There is even a 4D VR theater that lets viewers experience the comet's impact in moving chairs. I skipped the museum and headed straight for the crater. Like every other claim NASA makes, this one is questionable. This image explains why. No meteor drops straight down out of the sky. If it were a meteor that fell here, there would be an angle of approach. The hole was more likely created by a targeted event, such as the drop of a bomb or, even more likely, a detonation from ground level. On my way back out through the museum, I came across one curious item that reminded me of my video asking do we live under a dome. There are many more grids and perfectly straight lines and boxes that can be found in ancient deserts around the world. I leave it to you to discover them. By the way, this is Utah. Support this type research by sharing this article. Now, it's time for me to hear from you. What are your thoughts on this video? If you found it interesting or informative, please consider giving it a thumbs up and sharing it with your friends and family. Remember, the more people know about these important topics, the better. Before we wrap up, I want to extend a huge thank you to all the individuals who dedicated their time and energy to research and gather the information presented in this video. Their efforts are truly commendable and have helped shed light on important topics that affect us all. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications to be notified when the next video is uploaded. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.